Welcome to another episode of Invest Smart, Navigating the Financial Markets. Today, we're diving deep into the ocean of Forex trading. Yes, that's foreign exchange trading. And trust me, it's as enthralling as it sounds. So let's get to it. Absolutely. I'm thrilled to dig into this. To start, let's define Forex. It's short for foreign exchange and refers to the global marketplace for trading national currencies against one another. Picture it like a vast world bazaar, bustling with traders buying and selling currencies, where the goal is to buy low and sell high. That's the simple way to put it, right? Exactly. And what's extraordinary about Forex is its sheer size. It's considered the largest and most liquid financial market in the world. Liquid, in this context, means it can easily absorb buying and selling without affecting currency prices dramatically. Imagine walking into a grocery store with a bottomless supply of apples. You could buy as many as you wanted without impacting the price, thus making transactions smooth and straightforward. I love that analogy. Now let's rewind for a moment. Before the late 1990s, Forex trading was predominantly accessible only to banks, large corporations, and elite traders, right? It wasn't until technological advancements, specifically the rise of the internet, that it opened up to the everyday individual. Exactly. With the advent of online trading platforms, anyone with a computer and internet connection could jump into Forex trading, kind of like transforming from a private club into a global community potluck. Everyone could bring something to the table. But there's a twist. While it sounds inviting, Forex trading comes with considerable risks. There's not just potential profit, many have also experienced significant losses. Very true. It's like that popular saying, with great power comes great responsibility. Before anyone jumps into real trading, it's crucial to have a foundational education in Forex. Educational resources are abundant, with online courses and demo trading accounts being a few options. Oh, speaking of demo accounts, that's such an essential aspect of learning how to trade. It's like practice chess. Real moves are simulated without risking actual funds. Many platforms allow you to trade with virtual money, which builds your skills while keeping your wallet safe. Exactly. And once you feel ready, stepping onto the real trading floor means you'll need tools in your kit, like understanding charts and technical indicators. Let's demystify what a technical indicator is. These are mathematical calculations used to forecast potential price movements in the currency pair you're interested in. Right. And charts, such as daily or hourly charts, provide a graphical representation of these price movements over specific periods. Think of them as heat maps. They visually portray all the action happening in the market and help you make informed decisions on when to buy or sell. That's a vivid comparison. It's also vital to understand trading signals. Traders depend on these indicators to determine ideal moments for entering or exiting trades. More often than not, the best decisions are data-driven ones. You nailed it. And every time you consult those charts for trading signals, you need to factor in your risk tolerance. It's a bit like going skydiving. Sure, the thrill is exhilarating, but the more you understand your parachute, the safer your experience will be. Yes, and there are advanced strategies such as trailing stops and limit exits to help manage those risks. Each of these essentially provides a plan for when to get out of a trade, responding more to market conditions rather than emotional reactions. Well stated. That emotional aspect is significant. Novice traders often let emotions dictate their actions based on momentary market fluctuations. This leads to hasty decisions, which can be financially disastrous. Indeed, being disciplined is key. Now, it's critical for new traders to educate themselves before diving straight in, right? Business schools offer courses on financial trading, but there are also numerous online platforms and forums discussing strategies and experiences. It can get quite overwhelming if you want to learn everything at once, but taking it step by step is the best approach. Exactly. And let's not forget interacting with fellow traders as a way to learn. Online trading forums can present invaluable insights from seasoned traders, like sitting in an informal classroom where everyone shares their best practices and lessons learned. And here's an interesting statistic. While many traders jump in looking to turn a quick profit, around 70 to 90% of retail traders lose money. It highlights how important it is to gain proper education and develop a solid trading plan. 
that's a real wake-up call for anyone entering the market. To wrap up our discussion, there's immense potential in Forex trading. However, it's equally critical to approach it cautiously with a solid educational foundation, thorough risk management strategies, and ongoing training. And remember, it's a continuous learning journey. Right. Whether you're intrigued by the potential for wealth or just want to dabble, remember, knowledge is your most valuable asset in Forex. Thanks for joining us today, and we hope our chat has inspired you to explore this field responsibly. Until next time. Goodbye, everyone.